streets of Cardiff, um, getting people signed up to vote. Um, obviously the selection is the most important of a generation. To vote in the first place you've got to be signed up um, and a lot of people don't know that they have fallen off the register so today it's just about informing people and obviously by having a big bus here today um, you can't really miss us. It's very important to get young people and well everybody of all ages to, to vote but especially the students and as you know Cardiff is full of um, students and I think it's become student land now and basically I think a lot of them need to get that oomph again to get back into, into voting. No voice, no voice. We are a party neutral organisation but our main focus is to get 16 and 24 year olds to register to vote and kind of decide what their topical issues are and find out which parties can help them with those issues. I think it's so important that we do these um, and, and address these issues, hit them head on, get on to the students, tell them look your vote does count, will count and can be counted but you need to register. No vote, no voice. What we're trying to get across mostly and what we need to come up with different ideas to engage these young people is that the fact that your name is just on that register list is making a difference because those politicians look at that register list, think where can I get these votes from, therefore see so many young people, I need to start getting policies to help these young people, I can get these votes then and that's what we're trying to get across, so don't listen to Brussels Land. Brilliant. No vote, no, no voice. voice. Young people aren't apathetic. They're really interested in issues. They're perhaps more interested in issues than in conventional political parties. And they recognise that whatever people like Russell Brand may say, that if they don't get out and vote, they don't make their voice heard, they won't have an impact. And it's good that parties are now addressing this student issue. They've seen the betrayal over tuition fees. Tuition fees has now become an issue in this election. Students, young people have become an issue in this election. Extending the vote to 16 and 17 year olds is an issue in this election. Let's get young people signed up out there and making their voices heard. We're trying to get them registered, whichever party they're going to be voted for, just as long as they've got a voice and a way to influence the next government, that's what's important. No vote, no voice. My job's uh, working with unemployed people. I think they're the first people that sometimes don't go out and vote. So this election, it's about getting them informed as well and we'll be going out in the streets, making sure we knock on every door, making sure that they are registered to vote. Um, it's about making sure everyone, the one thing that that nobody can take away from someone is their right to vote. No vote, no voice. As a non-party campaigner, for me it's important that everyone have a, has a voice. So that's why we're going across the country and we're engaging with all demographics, all ages, all social backgrounds, all the races. About 14,000 people in Cardiff Central have dropped off the electoral register and about 7,000 of those are in Cates. Obviously that's the kind of thing that could actually you know, have a serious uh, effect on the, the overall result of the election in Cardiff Central or in any other student area. Okay, so after we register them, we take the form and we leave them with this bit of the pledge card. We've got um, so the local community, uh, the church, the local mosque and residents coming together and saying that we care and we want to make sure our voice gets heard. Cardiff, here we go. No 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 voice. Voice. So we're in Cates today, uh, and in two thirds of the population in this area are not registered to vote. And that's traumatic, right? Because you know, if we can get as many of these people to vote, you know, it, it can sway uh, the way uh, the election goes. I think it's massively important to come out and do this stuff to encourage people to register to vote. Uh, the way uh, people uh, vote has changed, and a lot of people don't understand the process. So we're encouraging people to, you know, get, uh, to, to go online to fill in the forms we have, which we can uh, send to local council, and they'll get a response back. So it's very important, particularly you know, times uh, like we're living in today, to get people to register to vote. We're all from uh, different communities, different organisations. Uh, I myself and uh, young people here uh, from the Butte and Grace Riverside area, so we're up in Cates today. No 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 We've got a lot of uh, first-time voters, so they're all registered to vote, they're all ready to go. Uh, a lot of political parties don't appeal to them, so you know they need to start uh, putting things across that do appeal to them, so they can be active, they can vote, but today you know they're out of bow and, uh, and they're ready to make their voices heard. It's been good, a lot of people have already registered because Cardiff Uni do it online, don't they? It's really nice to see so many people really passionate about young people voting because they want to get what they want as well. Some people are just really passionate about it. They couldn't, they, they were so excited that we were here to register, get them registered. No voice, no voice. And we had a gentleman um, earlier who actually went to go and get his friend from home and come down. Because he saw the bus. Yeah, because he <laughs> saw the bus and actually came, brought his friend to get him to register to vote. No, no vote, vote, no, no voice. <laughs> Basically, uh, we had about 80 young people on the streets today for hours in the blistering sun, uh, knocking on doors and getting people registered to vote. 
I had to create new maps as we were going, you know, like we've gone past all the uh, boundaries we expected to do, so it's been a good day. Some of the young people, they're having conversations with people, you know, of different like uh, backgrounds, different ages, you know, so it's as much about the conversations we're having, you know, and the sort of uh, the things people are learning about each other as a community as anything else, you know. We've got James Downs, uh, who's a Hope Not Hate supporter, he's giving a, a vegan feast to everyone who arrives. No vote, no voice. Try and bribe people with food so that they vote and think about politics. It's called the Meeting Room Cafe and it's all about getting the community into this space that they might not know about. And it's a completely secular thing, it's all it's it's not linked to the church in that kind of way. It's using this wonderful premises to just get the community together. I think in Cates that's quite difficult because to feel a sense of community because really it's quite a disparate community with a transient population. So I think people we'll find it really reassuring to think actually yeah there is a community in Cates. It's all vegetarian and a lot of it is vegan and gluten free so that people aren't excluded from eating here if they want to. So we really sort of like that inclusive idea that anybody can come and everybody's welcome, everyone's catered for. So. It's just all about trying to get people engaged, um, understand that it's important to have their voice heard because together we can actually make a really big difference. It's very important that we all use and exercise that right and not feel that you know, disheartened um, by, you know, the actions of politicians that we voted in and haven't really represented us. It's been amazing. It's been uplifting and um, enlightening. Just seeing the passion out there. No vote, no voice. No vote, no voice!